Who do you say I am? It's not the question that I pose to you. It's the question that Christ posed to the disciples and to Peter. Who do you say I am? And Peter answered, some say you are a prophet. Some say this, who do you say that I am? Peter responds through his confession of faith. You are the Christ, the Son of God. And after making this confession of faith, Christ begins for the first time in the Gospel of Mark to speak about what is to come. How they will all be cast out of the synagogue how he will destroy the temple in three days, how he will be put to death, and how he will rise. And Peter pulls him aside and says, admonishes Christ, and says, you can't say these things. And Christ says, depart from me, Satan. Satan tempting the apostle even at that moment in the presence of Christ. These are the verses that precede today's gospel lesson. In order for us to fully understand what it is that Christ, how it is that he instructs us to live in this world we need to understand the context in which it is placed. Who do you say I am? It's a question that Christ certainly posed to Peter, but it is one in which he asks all of us. To answer not how others describe him, but rather to affirm our own belief in Christ our Lord. And when we stand firm in faith, when it is that we proclaim Him to be the God of all, then we begin to understand His instruction. When He, be, when he tells us in a phrase that perhaps is very familiar to us all from the time of our childhood. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. If we proclaim him as our God and Savior, if we stand firm in faith, lifting up our voice, and putting into words the very depth of our soul, then our body is also called to spring into action and to move forward towards Him, continuing on our path towards salvation. Nowhere, nowhere in the Scriptures does it say, that this is an easy path or journey without obstacles and without struggle. Christ paved the road for us as he lifted himself up on the cross. Last week you heard me say that the feast of the Holy Cross which we celebrated this past Monday on September 14th is such an important feast that the liturgical cycle pauses, that there are set readings and hymns chanted on the Sunday before and the Sunday after the feast. This gospel that we heard proclaimed today together with the epistle are specifically prescribed by the church to be proclaimed today. While we still have in our memory 
this celebration of the exaltation of the cross and the elevation of the cross of Christ and the healing that is granted to the universe through God's love and sacrifice. Who do we say I am is the question that we answer towards Christ. And after answering, we ourselves move forward walking, sometimes crawling, sometimes reestablishing ourselves on that path towards Him. Let us not be tempted to lose our focus. Let us not grow weary of the obstacles that we may have to overcome. And again, we are not overcoming these obstacles with our own strength, but rather through our own weakness, we reach out to Christ to lift us and make us strong to be able to continue to move closer and live closer to him. He warns us. Whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever who loses his life for my sake and the gospels will save it. When he speaks about Those who would come after me, let them deny himself and come after me. He talks about life in this world. Where is our care and where is our importance placed? And if it is of the things of this world, then we have gained nothing and ultimately lost everything. But if our focus is on Christ, if we put aside and, in a way, bring to the cross and nail upon the cross our own weakness and our own sinfulness, then we too will find strength and life in Christ. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? Christ asks us many questions today. Ones that we truly need to hear with open ears. Ones that call us to a state of attentiveness and action. May he continue to grant us his mercy and love. Amen.